Greetings Cosmos and welcome back to a uh, um, new, n yeah, new Great Castle adventure. It was definitely new something. So today, I'm going to see if Toad can tackle the final level before I return to the minigame level. Because I am bad at the minigames. So, what is this? Cutthroat Junkyard. Minigames might not be until tomorrow. Oh no. Oh no. If spin jumping isn't your thing, then Peach and Link have special ways that can let you... That can get you through this challenge as well. Great control of my own momentum there, me. Uh, I mean, I understand Peach getting through, but what can Link do? Woo! What? I, I was hitting the spin jump button repeatedly as I approached the edge and Toad just wouldn't spin jump. That was entirely my fault. I'm so glad that the previous level gave me so many lives right at the end. Because game hitting a game over is a inconvenience. Okay, okay, I'm gonna wait for that to explode. Um, huh. I need to make a running jump to get up here? Okay, sure. Bonk. I panicked. Okay. Oh! Whoa, what the? Okay, hold on. Well, I plug my controller. I was using my controller wirelessly because, uh, sometimes the controller just stops working entirely when I use it wired, and then I have to unplug it and use it wirelessly to make it work. But then when I use it wirelessly, sometimes I get these weird delays. Okay. Okay. Made it farther than I did last time. I'm improving. Um. Now I'm panicking. Okay. Okay, so. Woo! Interesting. Huh. Gotcha. Spin jumping is the only safe way to interact with white bullet. Oh no. Oh no. These aren't actually bullet bills at all. Sheesh. My mistakes just compounded and compounded, and I wish there was a midpoint. This love. I was going to say, this level isn't that hard. I'm just making a ton of mistakes. And then I made a mistake as I was trying to say that. So, you know, that kind of demonstrates my. Why? Why do I keep doing this? Okay. Okay. Good job, me. All right. I am good at this. I'm just so good at this. The best. 
I'm trying to think of what Link can do to make that first jump. Wait, no, what am I doing? Okay. So wait for the bullet to fire and then do a running jump and blam. No! The platform started moving before I was ready for it. Hmm. Oh wow. I'm amazed that that didn't kill me. I'm feeling like some of the levels in this game are just a bit too long for their own good. If they were shorter so that uh, midpoints could be included earlier, they might all oh, provide a better experience for me personally. Okay, so. Alright. Ha! Oh. Ha! Oh, I made it. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Gotcha. And now, to... No! No, having to actually be good at this game? What is this madness? Okay. Oh no, there's... Oh, well, that one is not a threat for what I'm trying to do right now. Yes! This stage has enough mushrooms, at least so far. Oh, woo! Wasn't expecting to get platformed there. Woo! Okay. Oh no, oh no! I messed up, but you know what? That one mushroom was not Midpoint, yes! made that. Oh, this is an interesting gimmick. It partially showed up earlier on, too. I like this gimmick. I like it a lot. I'm glad that the midpoint was, like, recent. But there's no, uh, power-up. In case I do something like that. There's no obvious power-up. Or no power up at all. Mm. Alright. And then spin on top of this and. Woo! Mm. So when the platform goes down, you immediately go off the platform slightly because of the way momentum is programmed. What am I doing? Programmed in this game. Okay, so. I cannot make that jump anymore. I almost had that, but then I overcommitted and failed to correct my overcommitments. Okay. Woo! Okay, gotcha. And make the jump. Okay, so then. Hi -ya. Now, the question is... Yes, there is a mushroom there. 
Gimme, gimme, gimme. Why am I so terrified of these? Well, whatever. Okay. Okay. Darn it, now I'm just too terrified of everything. Okay, and then wait for this to descend, and... Why did you not jump to it? I hit the button like several times. I'm trying to get you to jump over that, uh... Woo! Lucky! Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna wait for that bomb to go. I'm so scared of everything right now. And it's kind of upsetting me. Oh. Okay, wait for that. Go again. Wait for a ghost. Ah! Oh. oh no! Oh no! Okay, did it. Oh, neat. I don't know why, but this music has a real Mega Man X3 feel to it to me. Which is weird, because I'm ooh, pretty sure this music isn't actually from Mega Man X3. Pretty sure, but not absolutely. I am absolutely sure of very... No! Little with regards to music these days. Sheesh. So, in unrelated news, lately I've been playing a digital card game called Hearthstone. I haven't been playing it competitively, mind you. I'm playing it for the free single player stuff. Because that stuff is actually pretty cool once you understand the basics of the game. I mean, I'm adequate at the game. I've never been great at any card game that I've played, but I've been adequate. As much as I try and tell myself otherwise, it's I should try better planning something. Anyway. The single player stuff is like It's not exactly everything I've ever wanted out of a card game, but it's close. Like, there, there's a series of roguelike single-player things you can do, where... Oh no! Where you start with, by choosing one of the available characters, which depending on which game you're playing can be the... Good job, me. The standard array of characters for the main co uh, competitive game, or it can be special characters created just for that single player thing. Then you start with a deck of 10 cards, and then every time you win a card game against an enemy, which usually represents some aspect of the uh, theme you're exploring, like monster hunting, is the one I've been doing a lot lately. So you'll start by hunting a mangy wolf for some reason and then uh, continue by hunting random monsters and like every time you win you'll get to pit you're presented with three sets of three cards and which three sets of cards you get to choose from are randomized oh no this is gonna end badly if i go too early okay there we go anyway um what was i saying yes 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 the three sets of cards you get access to are randomized but like each each one has a theme and you get different themes based on the character you're playing and, and if you lose good job me if you lose you go back to the start and uh, have just your 10 card deck again because you know it's a roguelike you lose you lose all your progress and that is fine but also you get these ridiculous things like a passive like, your first victory gets you a passive treasure that's always uh, in effect for the rest of the run. Your third one, I think, gets you a card that another card that's added to your deck, and each of these are just 
presented as here are three things, choose one. And you don't have access to the same three things every time, it's randomly chosen from a pool. And there are some passive treasures that are the same for. Oh, perfect planning on my end. There, like, there are some passive treasures that are the same for all characters, but each character also gets some that are unique or semi unique. And it. And it just gets ridiculous. Like, if you. If you get lucky, you can be ridiculously powerful. And in one of the games that I played, I think the entire point is for you to be ridiculously powerful. But yeah, it, and then you fight ri really ridiculous bosses too. It, it's fun. And it's almost exactly what I want out of a card game. I suppose my big problem with trading and or collectible card games is the trading and or collectible part. I'm not really big on the whole spend a ton of money and hope you get a rare thing. Especially with, uh, there are some card games that I played where they, well, no, most card games that I play where when the people making and designing the game know, oh yes, this card is powerful, everyone's going to want or need it. Oh, good job, me. I skipped the first trap only to get caught up in the second. Anyway, and they just intentionally make that card hard to get. Oh, I'm getting here more consistently now. On the other hand, I've also been playing for 15 minutes or 17 minutes now. I started at 20 some odd lives, now I'm down to six. Well, great momentum control, me. All right, all right. Don't hurt me. A hip and a poppin. Red egg is cool. Great play there. I'm going to... I, I'm cheating here, obviously. Because, uh... Well, I'm doing this now. But I'm going to at least pretend like I'm playing this for real. Except the hippin' and the hoppin' thing makes it so... I can't let go of the spin jump button and then start a new spin jump. Uh, without doing an extra hop. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Well, that would have gotten me bad. Alright, so, curses! Okay. A hippin' and a hoppin'. Really, it is cool. I want to at least try to do this thing legit here. I did it! Um, what am I supposed to do here? No, that's just frustrating. If I was committed to getting through here without cheating, that would have made it impossible to go on. It's not the level designer's fault unless they forgot to include a thing there. See why Brothers X was just magically- Oh no! Oh no! Okay, would have been tagged multiple times already. If this boss were easier to get to, I this would be a lot of fun, but this boss is not easy to get to. So if you die, you have to do a lot of work before you can practice it again. That's one of the problems with bosses in this game. No matter how cool they are, they're buried behind so much stuff that in order to get to them, in order to beat them, or no, no, they're buried behind so much stuff that in order to practice them, you have to go through a ton of stuff over and over. Well, don't hurt me. Right, I 
badges. Cool. Join me next time when I get the final star. Possibly by cheating. <laughs>